So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us solve problems involving inverse partition. The inverse variation, the equation y equals k over x, it is read as y varies inversely as x or y is inversely proportional to x. k that could be the constant of variation. If we use the proportion, so this is the proportion, our formula, x sub 1 times y sub 1, it is equal to x sub 2 times y sub 2. In example number 1, Boy's law states, that if the temperature stays the same, the pressure P of the gas is inversely proportional to the volume V if a cylinder in a steam engine has a pressure of 1,000 kilopascals when the volume is 1.8 cubic meter, find the pressure when the volume increases into 3 cubic meter. So our formula, so let us see, so inversely proportional, so pressure of the gas is inversely proportional to the volume. So P is equal to K over V. So let us solve now for the volume increase in 3 cubic meter. So the first value of the pressure, our pressure is 1000. When the volume is 1.8, so K over 1.8. Afterwards, let us multiply both sides by 1.8. So cancel on the right side. So 1000 times 1.8, it is equal to K. If we multiply, that is equal to K or 1,800 is equal to K or K if it is equal to 1,800. Afterwards, let us continue to solve for the pressure when the volume increases into 3 cubic meter. So P, the pressure, and our K, that is 1,800 divided by 3. If we divide, that is equal to 600. Our unit is kilo pascal. So the pressure is 600 kilo pascals. In example number 2, the distance d from the center of a CISO varies inversely as the weight w of a person. Jomel, who weights is 80 pounds, sits 4 feet from the fulcrum. How far from the fulcrum must Jomel sit in order to balance with Jomel if he weights is 40 pounds? So, we have CISO and then na nagpiplay si Jomel and then si Jumo. Let us see what could be our equation to identify how far from the fulcrum must Jumo sit in order to balance Jomel. So our formula D, so distance from the center, so D, it is equal to varies inversely. D, it is equal to K over the weight W. So D, it is equal to K over W. So the weight of the Jomel is 80 pounds. So W, it is equal to 80. While the distance is 4 feet. So 4, it is equal to K over 80. So afterwards, let us multiply both sides with 80. So cancel on the right side. While here, 4 times 80, it is equal to K. So 4 times 80 is 320 equals K. Or K equals 320. So let us continue to solve for D, it is equal to K over W. So let us see how far from the fulcrum must Jumong sit in order to balance with Jomel. So the weight of Jomel is 40 pounds. Our K is 320. So D, it is equal to 320 over 40. So it means let us divide 320 divided by 40. So D, that is equal to 8 feet. So, far from full chrome as Jumong seat, it should be 8 feet. Let us solve problem number 3. The rate R of a car varies inversely with the time t. On a fixed distance, it is recorded that the speed of the car is 60 kph. The time travel is 1.5 hours. Find the rate of the car that travels the given distance in 1 hour. First, we need to identify the formula. So, R 
it is equal to inversely, so k over t. So r is equal to k over t. So we may use our formula r equals k over t twice because we have two value of r's. Or we may use the formula for the proportion r sub 1 times t sub 1 is equal to r sub 2 times t sub 2. This is our first value of r, rate and time, and this is the second value of time. The first value of the rate, that is 60 kilometers per hour, and then the time, that is 1.5. Our rate is unknown, and then our time, that is equal to 1 hour. Afterwards, let us multiply 60 times 1.5, that is equal to 90. 1 times r sub 2, that's it, that is equal to 1 r sub 2 or r sub 2. So, r sub 2 or the rate is equal to 90. So, rate yon, so it means 90 kilometers per r. Instruction Solve the following problems involving inverse variation. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.